All right. Another cast. Here we are on Crossroads in Automatch. And on Crossroads, we have the fighting forces of uh, OKW being, or Ostir, excuse me, being piloted by Deus Ex Machina, also known as DSM. And facing off versus the Okidabs, we have Soviets playing uh, or piloted by Storm Jagger. And as we can see the first couple of units coming out here, DSM has already locked in Mechanized Assault Doctrine with the Assault Grenadiers, of course, already hitting the field. Uh, seems to be a complete tier 1 skip. So no Grenadiers, no Snares. Meanwhile, Storm Jager is going for a triple conscript so far, no second engineer opening, meaning most likely leaning towards an airborne build. Got a very nice ambush here, using the, the house to close in. Let me open up my pencil tool. One second. Fresh conscripts have arrived. Ba -ba -bum. There we go. Yeah, using this house to really close in instead of charging straight ahead, meaning you take way less damages because uh, you don't, you're not fighting over this area, approaching the conscripts. And of course, you also, you know, you you start the fight at an already way closer proximity. So, uh, just very nice tactics there from DSM with his capping order. Probably spotted the victory point being captured and. Uh, Went for that. And he's still using the garrison here. This is probably not going to work off work out though. Taking a bit too much damage there, but not dropping any models whatsoever. We see one go down here on the retreat might get a second one. Has some red cover here on the retreat. Doesn't get another volley off though. And yes, we can see here Storm Jagger, four conscripts, so uh, most likely leaning towards a, an airborne pick. I would be surprised if he goes with any of the other options. Usually, if you go with something that has guards, you prefer to have three conscripts, because that way you can get a guard squad without bleeding. If you go four conscripts and guards, you're really going to have some issues teching with uh, the manpower. Um, but of course, it's always good to have guards as a... Uh, you know, as a rebuild, if you lose a conscript, you can get a guard squad instead of rebuilding your conscript, which is, uh, I guess, it's it's okay. But conscripts are also one of those main lines that, you know, it still sucks if you lose them, but it sucks less compared to all the other factions because they have the tier 4 7 man conscript upgrade, which also gives them increased uh, veterancy gain, so they vet up way faster once you get that, and You'll, you'll be back up to speed faster than any of the other main lines in the game. Very nice engagement here from the Assault Grenadiers. Forcing away two combat squads alone with only dropping one model. Very nice. You see an attempt at a flank here on the fuel. MG is holding though. Second conscript is charging, charging straight at it. MG trying to turn. Not turning fast enough. Gets the flank and the... MG is about to be completely forced to tribute. We have sprinting in Assault Grenadiers here as well. Dealing some massive damage here. Uh, one reason why this build is so strong in the early game is because even if you get a flank off the MG, generally the Assault Grenadier will just... They will just counter flank you and you can't really focus down the HMG because if you do, you get such a horrible engagement like you just saw here. So that's very nice done there from DSM, holding the fuel intact. Might even get a wipe here actually. Those Panzer Grenadiers, there's some red cover here too. Ooh, really close. He stops there for a second. I think that was a mistake. Probably wanted to get that extra accuracy while he was on the red, but might have actually made sure the conscript survived there. Meanwhile, we have a 2-2-2 coming out from DSM, and we also have a fuel uh, taken here, some uh, resource harassment also happening over on the left side. So early game is definitely going to in the advantage of DSM. 
2-2 two two is out. Meanwhile, Stormjager is taking up to tier 3, so no early Sis gun, which is what you usually see, I think, with this build. Which also means this 2-2 two 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 is going to do some serious damage before AT hits the field. This early tier 3 with this resource income would tell me that he's probably opting for an M5. I realize you can't see that, but the M5 half track. Um, because it's only 30 fuel. Uh, which is weird if he actually opts for the airborne, because it will delay his SVTs and Dushkas. Considering it requires 90 munitions to get the quad going. So usually if you go airborne, you generally go T-70 if you go light vehicle. Uh, though I don't mind skipping light vehicle as airborne, personally. But I know there's some... Uh, there's some different builds you can do. Airborne is very versatile. Do I have a cutoff coming in here? Passing your just charging straight ahead. Flamer about to dislodge this this uh, MG. Not closing in for that flame burst though. There we go. A bit too late. Managed to get suppressed before, which will uh, damage the uh, reload time of this specific engineer. So probably won't get another burst off. No, he won't. But cutoff is in play. Conscripts trying to take back the area. Oh, we saw a fake bundle nade there. There we go. Easily dodged by Storm Jagger though. So that's 50 munitions down the drain. We also have a SIS gun in the build for Storm Jagger. Uh, not opting for the M5 and, you know, just putting tier 3 here when you need to go SIS gun. It just feels very bad. So I think going SIS gun is generally way more... Uh, early SIS gun is way more consistent. And thank you very, very much, Nathan, there for the six months for your prime. Cheers, my dude. Noise. We actually have a second 2 2 coming out for DSM. Probably expecting a T70 since the lack of SIS gun so far. Uh, but there's quite quite a far away the SIS gun. I'm not sure. No snares yet for Storm Jagger, so he's just that far behind in resources, it seems. But yeah, double 2 2 is out. Just going to put even further. Uh, Pressure. We also have a teller here from DSM. Strange location. Um, it's not very often this actually goes off. Um, maybe if it was more on the road, but we'll see. We'll see. Two to two does eat a sis gun shot. Second two to two is here. Still no snares, probably waiting for that T70. He doesn't want to get this before T70 because that would delay him with current income for about a minute. So, solid choice there, I think. I doubt DSM is going to get into snare range anyway. There we go, T70 is in the build. We see infiltration grenades, this could be huge! Dodge though, by Storm Jagger, obviously paying attention. Still takes a lot of damage there from that 2 to 2. MG covering its flank. Oh, Panzergrenadier is coming in, this SIS gun is in trouble. And there is still no snares from Storm Jagger. But T70 just hit the field, still no AT from uh, DSM, not even snares. Um, so this might go terribly wrong here. Siskan though is about to go down, double 2 to 2 is here to uh, to stop this T70. Siskan finally decreased, Pigon is getting very low, we see Bundle Grenade on the conscript. Dodges it, but barely. 2 to 2s could go in here for the kill on the T70. Is finally going for it. We see uh, armor piercing rounds from the MG42 dealing some damage. This 2 to 2 should be enough to kill it now. It is going in for it. No, just stand still with the 2 to 2. You don't want to miss rounds here. 
One single round is different. Just stand still with the 2-2-2. Two -two -two. DSM. No, what are you doing? Gun crit as well. T7 lives with no AT, but he steals the Sis gun. I didn't even realize. That's actually huge. Makes it become a trade. We also see the SW the 250 half track. Sunday Craft Sugar or something like that. Uh, in here to punish. Also comes with a Panzer Grenadier, of course. Sis gun is just trying to get out of here, but you know, Storm Jager is right on his tail. Still no snares from him, so uh, this could be quite bad. Sets it up in order to uh, use the suppression arc. Very nicely done. Means he can't recruit this. Still no snares in the queue. We do have guards though, so no airborne. But I mean, he did lose the sis gun here, so... Might not have that much choice. Oof. Very close to dying there, those conscripts. Guard's about to send a volley on this 250. Oh, this pioneer is not reinforced, that's very unfortunate. Meaning he can't recruit the Sis gun and take it back to safety. He does set this up again, so you get the arc. We have infiltration and grenades coming out as well, easily dodged though. Flamethrower getting very low here. Suppression is about to kick in. And of course he can use the reinforce from the 250 half track once it hits Vet 1. That's huge, that vet pop. Still no snares though, let's check the base, no snares coming. And we do have marked target, that's very, very creative here from Stormjacker, I will admit that. Don't think it's gonna be enough, nope. Those conscripts are forced away, meaning the Sis gun is available to steal, he can repair, and that's 80 munitions down the drain for Stormjagger. MG42 coming in to, uh, to stop these... Uh, any further pushes from Storm, but I don't think he's in a position to do so. We have M5 in the queue, uh, and he's about to be able to afford the quad. He does have DPs on his guards as well, so he's not too many starved here. Yeah, Sis is taken. He chooses to retreat instead of just repair. He can reinforce from this, so I don't see why he would do that. Oh, he maybe wants to tech. Battle phase 2 is ready, so teching here means Panzer 4 in about, yeah, well, as soon as he gets manpower for it. Could probably actually prior to repair here before you tech up, because you can't really queue up Panzer 4 immediately anyway, because of the, the manpower issues here. Yeah, Storm Jagger is on the back foot, quad is halfway before popping. Meanwhile, map is looking very dominant for uh, DSM. Quite about to pop, Sis gun relocating. There we go. And of course, there's a teller right here, I forgot about that. Holy shit, that's. Right around the corner. You could just attack ground and try to force it into the teller. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a bad location because you don't really transverse over this very often. Like, as you can see, this road is way more common uh, traffic. Oh, and we have the light artillery barrage coming in. Not sure what the what the goal is here. Panzer IV is in queue. Could actually try to get some sh sneaky Shrek pop here with, together with the 250. Would be kind of cool to see. Panzer IV is getting very low. Has to play very safe here. Yeah, gotta be careful. Don't want to retreat from here. Retreat path goes through here, and the M5 will just kill him. Oh, but it chooses to retreat anyway. Fear of the. Oncoming conscripts, Panzer Grenadier does go down. Assault Grenadiers now. Seems Stormjagger got a huge win here in this engagement. He got his Sis gun back, wiped a Panzer Grenadier. Might be able to get away with this as well. There's nothing stopping it. He doesn't know about the Panzer IV. But he is scared of the 250? I'm not sure why. 
Maybe he thought it was a grand Pensgrenadier inside, I don't know. He could literally kill this if he has to charge, but he gets stuck on some logs, that's unfortunate. But misplay from Storm Jagger to begin with, you can just chase... Should have just been hugging that 250 as soon as it approached him. But yeah, Panzer IV coming in now. There is a Sis, double Sis actually for Storm Jagger. We also have the Guard Squad, of course. Uh, let me check the snares. Still no snares though. I don't know why people don't build snares. I think that's generally a big mistake. But yeah, one connection there. I don't see this uh, M5 getting away. Nope. There we go. A bit sloppy from Storm Jagger. He probably could have heard the Panzer IV in the Fog of War. But yeah, half track ready again. I'm a bit surprised he opts for a Pioneer. He could just put a Panzer in here and it would be way more effective. That way you could also be back capping with like um, with the Pioneer. But yeah, double Sis is out. And DSM is about to. Uh, to learn the meaning of pain here. We get a follow up shot. No, we don't. Holding fire. Very nicely done here. Gotta give uh, credit where credit is due. Holding fire in order to hide the Panzer IV in the fog of war. If it keeps firing, you generally give vision for a longer time. We have actually armor piercing rounds here. Could get a massive uh, suppression here. But that's so unlucky. No suppression there at all. Huge Panzer IV shot there, by the way, taking out half that card squad. Was probably not even what it was aiming for, but you know, Panzer IV does Panzer IV things. And we already have a second Panzer IV in the build for uh, DSM. Meanwhile, Storm Jagger not even teched here for yet. But yeah, Storm Jagger finally gets control over his fuel again. Really been struggling. I do like this positioning, you know, keeping these these guys behind uh, in an ambush position. That way you can just jump in and then jump out, and you're already very close. Also, Panzer behind green is very nice. People really underestimate a lot actually how much damage Panzer does on medium to long range. They actually deal a fairly amount. And it's not like you can force them away by closing in, because that way you just get eaten alive, so... Yeah, I like that. But yeah, second Panzer IV is in. Uh, meanwhile, DSM has got six man on both of his uh, Assault Grenadiers. Can't really argue with that choice. Could just go for a deep dive here on these SIS guns. But yeah, oh, huge dash barrage from the... Uh, this gun's taking out the 250s. Obviously got vision from the garrison here. We have a question here. You wonder why they don't use mortars. And there is some players in, at this level that do use mortars. In general though, mortars are very slow when it comes to... Um, when it comes to tempo, right? Because you basically lose down one combat squad in order for just a very poor support weapon, to be honest, compared to like a machine gun. Uh, so it's mostly about the tempo, the fact that you lose out on tempo by building a mortar. And that's why you don't see it that often. But yeah, these Panzer Force basically have a field day. Um, Sis guns have forced away here because of the Assault Grenadier and the Panzer Grenadier. Meanwhile, Storm Jagger is floating a lot here. I'm not quite sure what he would go for. I guess a second Engineer probably and then just wait for the T-34. But yeah, he is in deep trouble. That that Once that T-34 hits, he's gonna be facing three Panzer Fours. Also, deleting this machine gun actually lets his uh, his unit's base rate here, because there's no other MG defenses for this area if you come from the cutoff. But we have a huge maneuver here from the back. Imagine if Storm Jagger had some mines on his side here. I don't see this P4s getting away, but we have a huge uh, button there from the guards. Stunning that Panzer IV, but they managed to get away by the suppression from the MG. 
could just keep diving with this Panzer IV to be honest, but he sits in front of the Sis guns, taking a volley. We also have the light uh, artillery barrage coming in. Could have probably waited with that for a couple more seconds, I think. Until the Sis guns got in position yet. We also have Panzer IV from DSM, meaning no third Panzer IV. Or Panzer IV, I mean, meaning no third Panzer IV. Uh, so, DSM is going battle phase 3, meaning a Tiger is a possibility if the game goes on for that long. Oh, gets a connection, needs one more. Can he get an angle? Yes, he will. Abandon as well. P4 goes down to the Sis guns. We have a follow-up question here about the mortars, but what about the smoke, they ask. And, well, the fact is that smoke is the most useful part about the mortar. Um, the thing is, though, it's still a tempo loss, and is smoke really worth 300 manpower? Like, it's not 300 manpower, it's like 250, about there, for a mortar, depending on which one you opt for. Um, but do you really value smoke to 250 manpower? It's uh, very tough to say, you know, if you have a machine gun, here position, would you rather be able to smoke it and then charge up with a conscript? Or would you rather have two conscripts and that way you can just make a pincer maneuver, you know? You get the same result, the MG is forced away, but you have two combat squads instead of one combat squad and a mortar. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's different, I'd say. Um, but I don't think mortar is worth it for smoke alone. Nice Molotov here on the Assault Grenadiers. Could he even go down here with some body blocking actually? Get one more Flame Burst, that's definitely dead. Got the red cover here as well. Yeah. Honestly, a bit strange to see such late uh, Snare and Mort or Molotov tech from Storm Jagger. Or, yeah, from Storm Jagger. Because the Molotovs are actually really good versus uh, Assault Grenadiers. You know, you know, you get your sandbags up, and if your assault can just close in, you just throw a Molotov and you actually win the engagement, so... Werfer is coming in here. Eats the conscript, very nice. Already pretty much paying off for itself, I think. You saw a grenade trade there. Siskan's in position. This conscript is not happy. One more burst and it could actually be dead. This squad is not getting unpinned though. I'm not quite sure what's keeping this uh, assault gun here pinned here. That was pinned for quite some time. Uh, we have a Maxim now from Storm Jagger. Um, strange choice, but he's just so desperate here. He's down to 20 VPs. So he needs control over center. Light artillery barrage here to stop the capture. And the Panzer IV is coming back in. Looks like DSM is looking to end this game. Finally a T-34 in queue, but I think it's too late here. Needs to use the SIS or something in order to capture this with a SIS barrage perhaps. You should know where this machine gun is located. Guards seem to be going for the, the north left though. We also have another teller here, I just noticed. But yeah, 10 points. Um, barely any f infantry for DSM though, so. Panzer 4 goes down. That was a bit sloppy from uh, DSM. Pans or Panzer Werfer? Right. I could probably focus fire the guards that try to finish those off. Um, but yeah, Sisgun's trying to get the killing blow. We have the Panzer IV, they might. Panzer IV stops for some reason. But the Sisgun's don't open fire. He wants the VP, but it's too late. It's GG. And well played to DSM taking home this uh, auto match game. I was like, why Why is he not uh, shooting the Panzer IV? And then I took a glance at the VP and I realized that, damn, he, he has no time. Could have been a comeback here if he had, like, imagine if he had, just had 50 more VPs, you know? It 
could definitely see some combat potential here. Um, Storm Jagger's army is in general in a much better shape than uh, than DSM's. And you know the T-34 train is about to pop here as well. You're going to get a T-34 here every two to three minutes. Uh, meanwhile, the Panzer IV, you know, it's fighting two SIS guns, guards, and snare and sprint on all your squads, as well as T-34s, and you have Mark Target. Like, yeah, Austria is in a bad shape if this game would drag on for another 50 VPs here for Storm Jagger. So I would say this was a very close game, even though it's 500 to zero. Like, the VPs don't always tell the full story, right? Which is why I kind of dislike the the format of the, the recent qualifying for the tournament, you know? Because it always seemed to come down to VPs if you would qualify or not. And, it, like, taking home many series don't really matter when, when if, if, you know, if you lost a lot of VPs, you don't really get that far. And even in a game like this, where it's actually super close, like, you can't really tell from the VPs, right? You can't tell, but this game was actually super close. Literally, if if Storm Jagger had fifty more VPs, I would I would bet my money on Storm Jagger winning this. So yeah, but good game, very nice aggression from DSM, taking that double fuel the first like fifteen minutes, getting double two to two as well, taking out the T seventy with the two to twos. Um, what else happened? We got the two fifty half track uh, mechanized assault group call in, which you don't usually see it's 500 manpower which is a lot uh, but i think it was used quite well you know managed to get him that one sis gun steal which he later on gave up of course storm jagger doubling down on light vehicles going t70 losing it and then going back to m5 i don't know very interesting game i thought it was pretty good